internet has opened opportunities for many people to communicate with and entertain others. And one platform that allows this is the extremely popular streaming site, Twitch. Twitch was established in 2011 as an interactive live streaming service for content spanning gaming, entertainment, sports, music, and more. The popularity of live streaming has been increasing steadily over the last decade, and Twitch has played a huge part in its meteoric growth. While Twitch has had a positive impact on many communities, brought streamers closer to their viewers, and has created an accessible space for people to stream, it has also created a hostile environment that plays into toxic technocultures. I am using the phrase toxic technocultures to describe the toxic cultures that are enabled by and propagated through the socio-technical networks such as Reddit, 4chan, Twitter, and online gaming. Through certain affordances and cultures on the Twitch streaming platform, misogyny and discrimination go unchecked and unpunished. In this video essay, I would like to explore the reasoning behind the enabling of toxic online cultures and how they impact streamers and viewers alike. The male-dominated platform is home to over 140 million active users every month. And with numbers like this, it's not outrageous to assume that abuse and harassment go unnoticed. Famously, female gamers have been the target of vitriolic and unnecessary criticism within the gaming sphere. I'd like to break that down today. Actor 1. Permanent and Temporary Bans Streamers are sometimes banned for violating terms of service. There's a ton of gray area here though, because Twitch bans people regularly for things that do not violate terms of service. Some female streamers have been banned for ridiculous reasons. This is in part due to hordes of men flocking to report said streamers simply because they dislike women or believe that they are cheating in their game. A few female streamers have been banned due to indecency when wearing things like workout clothes. Because women are becoming more popular gamers, men feel that their position is threatened. This causes mass reporting, which then leads to unnecessary bans. Actor 2. Direct Messaging and Open Chat Interfaces Direct messaging and chat are both available through Twitch. When a streamer is streaming, anyone with a Twitch account is free to comment whatever they wish in chat. The chat is sometimes moderated, but when it isn't, people can get away with saying just about anything. The chat can create a hostile environment for streamers. Sometimes people engage in raids, where many viewers may enter another streamer's live and spam the chat with hate or even mock the streamer. This happened recently between streamers Jideon and Pokimane, when Jideon sent his viewers to fill the chat with harassment during Pokimane's stream. He was permanently banned for this action. Chats are also available while the streamer is not live, also opening up opportunities for unmonitored abuse. Due to the abrasive nature of many male Twitch viewers, they believe that because of the loose rules, they can say anything. This creates a space for negativity to be spread, especially towards women, where cowardly and insecure men feel they can tear her down with no consequences. I'd also like to mention the parasocial relationships within Twitch, how Twitch is set up to keep you engaged for hours and hours, and how Many streamers have become these personal relationships for people who are sub to their channel or who watch them for hours. They really do feel that this person is their friend, which causes problems further down the line with men harassing women, believing that she owes him something. This is another interesting aspect of, of the Twitch incel communication pipeline. Actor 3. Content tags. Content tags are something that can be applied to your profile, things such as hashtag gaming or other generic examples. However, as one user said, his wife tried to input women's rights and her account was flagged because the tag went against Twitch's terms of service. Twitch is limiting certain topics and certain important topics that pertain to women, therefore causing people to be unable to talk freely about what they desire. Twitch is creating double standards between male and female streamers by placing these limits on tags. Women are not the imagined user in this way, which creates a harmful space for female Twitch users. Actor 4. Trending Page and Creator Boosting When you sign on to Twitch, you are met with the Twitch homepage. 
This displays the most popular streamers based on highest to lowest viewer count. This will be displayed if you don't have an account with Twitch. If you do have an account with Twitch, then you can see streamers that you follow or what Twitch believes you might like. This action constrains certain streamers who may have fewer viewers than others. Since male streamers are more popular than female streamers overall, they are less likely to appear at the top of the recommended page. It boosts male streamers' views higher while continuing to lessen female voices. Of the top 50 streamers, only three are female. Actor 5, Twitch Partnering. Twitch chooses popular streamers to partner with. Streamers must, quote, demonstrate large engaged viewership and following on other services. This causes less popular female streamers to be less likely to become partners and make money, money off their streams. To bring this video essay to a close, I'd like to comment on a few more things. I believe that the culture of gaming and furthermore, the streaming industry has become overrun with misogyny and changes need to happen within the community to put an end to the toxic behavior. I discovered that Twitch is doing a lot to try and prevent the spread of harassment and abuse. But despite all of their efforts, female streamers are still facing discrimination. Why? Well, to answer that question, we have to look a little bit deeper into the society that forms these toxic technocultures. Despite Twitch's effort and proactivity, we will never be able to reach a middle ground when these cultures are perpetuated over and over in every aspect of our lives. 